in the northern corner of Mexico's Gulf of California lives a creature of deep mystery. A shy porpoise, no bigger than a human, with a gentle face and a dark ring around each of its eyes, as if perpetually in mourning. This is the vaquita, the world's most endangered marine mammal. Its name in Spanish means little cow, an innocent name for a creature teetering on the edge of extinction. At this moment, there are likely fewer than a dozen of them left in the entire world. The vaquita's biggest threat is not a natural predator, but a silent, invisible killer left behind by humans. For years, illegal fishing operations have cast gill nets into the waters to catch the totoaba, a large fish whose swim bladder is sold on the black market for a very high price. The vaquita is often caught as bycatch, tangled in these nets. Unable to surface for air, it drowns in a habitat that should be its sanctuary. Despite being a federally protected animal in Mexico and a subject of global conservation efforts, the illegal fishing continues. The story of the vaquita is a profound warning, a reminder of how our actions, intended for profit or pleasure, can have devastating consequences. Its survival now depends on our urgent action and our willingness to protect a species that has done nothing but try to exist quietly in a small corner of the sea. If you want to donate, the first link will be in the description. Now, let's take a closer look at these wonderful creatures. The story of the vaquita begins much later than most. This little porpoise was only formally discovered and named in 1958 when three skulls were found on a beach. For decades, it remained a ghost of the sea, rarely seen and little understood. Its existence is a testament to its elusive nature. A tiny porpoise of around four to five feet in length and a weight of up to 120 pounds. Vaquitas are the smallest of all cetaceans, the group that includes whales and dolphins. They have a rounded head, no beak, and a distinct black ring around each eye, almost like a panda's. This coloration helps them blend into their murky habitat. Their dorsal fin is unusually tall and triangular, an adaptation believed to help them dissipate heat in the warm waters of the Gulf. The vaquita's home is an incredibly small range, the most restricted of any marine mammal on Earth. They live exclusively in the shallow, turbulent waters of the upper Gulf of California and are solitary animals by nature, usually seen alone or in pairs. They are expert hunters in the dark, using echolocation to navigate and find their prey, which consists of small fish like croakers and grunts, as well as squid and crustaceans. Their life is a quiet one, a delicate balance with their fragile ecosystem. While the illegal fishing for the Totoaba fish is the primary cause of their extinction, the crisis is more complex. Mexico has created a zero-tolerance zone to protect the vaquita's last refuge. Conservation groups patrol the area, and a bold experiment was even attempted in 2017 called Vaquita CPR, which aimed to catch vaquitas and breed them in captivity. But the plan was a tragic failure. The animals did not tolerate the stress of being in human care, proving that their only chance is to be saved in the wild where they belong. The vaquita's plight is a race against time, a final stand for a species that may soon exist only in memory. Thank you so much for watching the video. For more mini documentaries about interesting topics of our wonderful planet, you can subscribe to our channel and leave a like while you're at it. Thank you.